Another thing that happened which stands out in my memory, and that was two postings later. We had left Bombay then. I'd, I'd finished school in Pune, and we had moved back to Bombay. We lived in Shivaji Park, and I used to go to the British Council Library to do some part of my studies. I had just joined college. I was 16, 17 years old, I think. And to go from Shivaji Park to the British Council Library, it was obviously a, a bus, double deckers in those days. <coughs> and I happened to be in a, sitting in a window seat in this bus. And when we passed Cherney Road, the bus suddenly braked to a halt. And when I looked out of the window, I found some busy goings on with two cars, one car blocking the other and a shot being shot. Everybody jumped and they looked out and they found that there were three people who had got down from one car, had cornered the other car, there was violent activity, a shot, and then the second car drove off quickly. Nobody knew what had happened except that the shot being heard was a signal that something extraordinary was going on. And I put my head out of the window and as the second car drove off, I memorized the registration number of the car on the little bus ticket which I had, I wrote down the number and at the next stop I got down and went to a public telephone and rang up the police and told them that this is what I saw. I think initially there was some disbelief on the part of the policeman who took my call and he asked me for my telephone number. I said, I've got my home telephone number, but I'm outside now. He said, nevertheless, give it to me. I gave him the telephone number and then I went off to the library. And after reaching the library, I realized that that was a holiday for the library for some occasion. So I said, now what do I do with myself? I either go back home straight or like a young man does. I thought I was being very adventurous. I went off to a movie. After the movie was over, I took a bus and I came back home. And this was about 7.30 in the evening. When I came back home, I found a police car standing outside our house and two or three constables there. The house door was open. And when I went into the door, I found two policemen in uniform and apparently a very senior officer sitting there with my mother who was very distraught. She didn't know what was happening. She only knew, which I discovered later, that the senior officer came there and said he was looking for me. She just couldn't put two and two together. They wouldn't tell her any details. And finally, when I came back, I was questioned what I saw from the bus, what description of the people, etc. And it turned out that that was a, what the police then called a decoity. And uh, they kept questioning me why I was going and where I was going. And when the whole story came out, it turned out that one person had died in, that, in the shot that was fired. And one thing led to another. And from my description of the number of the car and the description of the people, those decoits were caught within two or three days. The senior police officer who was questioning my mother and making her more and more agitated turned out to be a fatherly figure because I was a 16, 17 year old and I didn't know what was happening. The whole thing ended up in conviction for those people. I can't remember the sentence they got, 
But the fact was that the police said, and this came out in the newspapers, that several people must have seen what had happened. But there was, it was left to one young college boy who had the presence of mind to collect and pass on the information.